What's up, metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel, and today I got a super cool made in the USA knife for you guys. This is the Case Marilla. Very uh, interesting knife from Case. I like seeing this. Um, seeing them doing something a little different from what they are known for, more of the traditional type of knives. Um, this is, uh, or some of their knives are also super, super cheap and cringy and uh, just stuff you would not want to buy. This is not one of those knives. This is a uh, aluminum frame lock that has fantastic action. Um, uh, surprisingly so, honestly. I didn't expect this from this knife. Um, this was sent in for the knife sale, by the way, and is still available. But um, when, uh, I believe it's, yeah, Craig sent this one in. When he said he was sending a case, I was like, huh, a case, huh? You mean a uh, pew pew case? No, nah, he's talking about a knife because, and I didn't know Case was making anything like this. And I don't think they have too many options out there like this um, with premium blade steel, ceramic ball bearing, or uh, cage ceramic ball bearings, and, you know, just like your more, uh, you know, modern knives that we all love to play with, right? This one uh, falls into that category. And um, it's actually pretty damn good surprisingly so like i said i did not expect it to be as good as it is and i'm a little i'm pleasantly surprised i like it i like it let me give you some specs on it real quick then i'll give you some size comparisons and we'll go you know talk a little bit about it a blade length is 3.4 inches close length is four and three quarter inches it has a stone wash finish on the blade the frame lock is aluminum has g10 uh inlay kind of that are kind of standing up proud here, but it's very grippy the way they, it almost feels like sandpaper, but not uncomfortably. Um, very, very grippy right there. That really locks your fingers in there, by the way. Um, it does come in red or blue, and um, it is a right or left hand tip up carry, so the pocket clip is reversible. And weight is 3.6 ounces. And I think I already said this, but S35 VN blade still with a taper grind a saber taper grind on the blade um, the aluminum is anodized red and there is a blue anodized version also the pocket clip reminds me of benchmade's pocket clips it's like a like the bug out uh, a little thinner than that but short deep carry very deep carry i mean this entire knife is pretty much in your pocket um, when you have it in your pocket and it works very well it works extremely well i could do without the case on there you know personally but you know beggars can't be choosers at this point just keep doing more like this case and, and uh yeah keep keep bringing things like this to the market the uh price on this knife new when you buy it is uh, 136 dollars i believe and if it's i think that may be on sale i think msrp is actually 150 but you can catch them when they're in stock for 136 and i can't remember off the top of my head what the price is on this one that we're selling i will tell you momentarily this is brand new, by the way. Has not been used at all. Uh, the case on the one we're, s or the uh, price on this one, we have it marked at $100. So, really good deal on this. Uh, pretty good packaging. Nothing, you know, special thing. Just a regular box with a uh, foam in there. Um, some information if you want to check it out on the tag there. Made in the USA. Although there are some of the materials they say are imported. I'm going to say that's probably the hardware, the screws and things like that. Um, I don't know what all is imported and what isn't. So it is assembled in the United States, I guess. A lot of it is made in the United States from my understanding, but I don't know what parts are not. Um, give you some size comparisons real quick. Here is the Wii Mini Buster. And somebody was asking me about this, uh, if you can reverse flick this. I didn't include it in my overview because new people may not be able to. But if you are familiar with knives, very easy to spidey flick this knife. Just get your finger on the blade and you can do it. This is a good size comparison, actually. Um, the case is a, almost identical in length. Um, it's a hair longer than the Wii Mini Buster, but not by much. Um, very, uh, obviously, very different blade shapes, but... Very similar in size. Uh, let's do the uh, rock wall. We'll do some, do some America love here. Show some American love. 
I know that's not American, but uh, yeah, qu quite a bit bigger than the rock wall. How about some more American love? The uh, American Blade Works Model 1. Those are very similar in length. I mean, I think they're identical in length. Um, the case is a little thicker. And um, how about on this rock wall? It's just a little bit thicker than the rock wall too, but not by much. It's not super thick or chunky or anything. Um, what else we got here? How about the Yojimbo 2? Some more American love for you. It got some length on Yojimbo too. Also, it's a good size knife, but not very heavy. Very good action. Uh, what else we got from America sitting out here? Oh, got to do the bug out. I think this is a good comparison knife anyway. Actually, it's got quite a bit of length on the bug out also. Um, it's thicker than the bug out, but not by too, too much. Uh, how about a Para 2, Para PM2, Spyderco PM2. There you go. That's pretty close in length right there. Very, very close. And it's a little bit thicker than a pair of two, but not by very much. Those two are pretty good comparisons. And we'll go ahead and do a Spyderco Shaman, or Shaman, depending on how you pronounce it. Yeah. A little bit shorter than the Shaman. Almost, It's pretty much identical in length to a paramilitary two. They're pretty much identical in length. I should give you guys, actually I'll go ahead and do uh, some not made in the USA. Uh, the penguin, since everybody has a penguin, and uh, most everybody, give you a good comparison in size with the penguin anyway. And uh, we'll do the, uh, we'll do a Vist variant, PE2. So, that should give you guys a good idea on the size there. It's almost identical in thickness to the uh, penguin, by the way. Just a, just a, I mean, I think it's identical. Yeah, I think they're identical in thickness to a uh, liner lock penguin. So, what do I think about this knife? I like this knife. Um, the ergos are really good. You have some jimping right here and your thumb lands up there. It's not very aggressive jimping, so it it should be, it needs to be sharper jimping. I'm just going to come out and say it needs to be sharper because I can just slide my thumb right across it fairly easily with no real effort whatsoever. I uh, wish they'd give you a little more sharpening choil here. I mean, you got maybe one or two sharpenings and you're going to be making a smile. Um, the action is really good, dead centered. I like this G10, how grippy they did it. It almost feels like, I swear it feels like sandpaper, but it's, it's G10. Um, be nice if they could somehow manage to put a strip in here somewhere so you'd have a little bit on both sides but you know it's not bad like that the way it is um, I think it's a good looking knife too um, the pocket clip like I said works really well um, you do have lanyard holes back here if you like lanyards so you can put a lanyard on it if you want to one of the lanyard guys out there me personally I'm not a lanyard guy um, unless it's in a slip then I want a lanyard but other than that I don't want a lanyard um, the lock bar access is fantastic on this. It does have a, uh, a lock bar insert with a ceramic detent ball. So, and uh, it also has a, a ceramic or a steel um, lock bar insert that locks it up, and it has a ceramic detent ball. The uh, insert for the lock up is steel. The ball is ceramic. Sorry, I'll get this right eventually here. Um, yeah, I wonder if I can reverse flick this one. I bet you I can. Nah, that detent's pretty stiff, which is a good thing. Is it fallible? That's a good question. Because it's the detent is really good on this knife. It is really good. I don't think I can fell it, honestly. Okay, and pull as lightly as I can. Yeah, I don't think you can fell it. They get the detent tuned perfectly for a flipper. And if it wasn't so tight, I could probably reverse flick this knife, but as it is, I cannot reverse flick it. Uh, the push button works really well, and it's very comfortable. You do have some jimping up here, but again, it's not very aggressive. It provides enough traction for a light switch. Push button, very comfortable. They ground it off the top of this flipper, so it's very comfortable. Um, yeah, very good action, very good. I hope to see Case do some more stuff like this. Go, on, go ahead and go down this road and start making more fidgety knives of front flippers and 
you know, stuff like that. It'd be pretty slick. I don't know what these standoffs are. I'm going to assume they're steel, but I don't know. They're gray, whatever they are. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're steel, but let's just see. Yeah, they're steel. This aluminum has a um, very nice feel to it. Still, yeah, all the hardware is still, so all the screws and everything are still. And I'm, those, yeah, those standoffs are still also. Um, aluminum feels really good. It feels very similar to Protex aluminum, you know. It's, it's very good feeling, very soft to the touch. When I say soft, you know what I mean. It's no sharp edges anywhere. They've chamfered all the edges down very well. No hot spots anywhere on the knife. Uh, the lock bar access is fantastic, and the lock bar is buttery smooth, man. Buttery smooth. That may be because it's aluminum frame lock, but it is so smooth. But the lock up's fantastic. It's got excellent lock up, but man, it's so, so buttery smooth. And you can see the action. One shake and she's down. The detent brake is a little late. Right there's your detent brake. But if you just hold the lock bar over, it'll just go right past it, and the flipper will hit your thumb. So. Just hold it, hold past it, and you're good. You don't even have to worry about that. I don't know if there's an over travel stop in there or not. Yeah, there is. There is an over travel stop built into that uh, lock, that uh, lock bar insert also. So it does have an over travel stop in there. I wish they'd put this relief cut on the inside of the scale instead of the outside of the scale. That is one thing I have noticed going in the pocket. It can, depending on what you're wearing, like blue jeans. It's not bad, but you can feel it catch a little bit as it goes in. It doesn't stop you like some pocket clips where you're struggling to get it in your pocket. You just feel it like a briefly feel it. It's hitting this uh, relief cut right here. I wish they'd put that on the inside and just make this all smooth. I think that would be a, uh, good for this knife. Um, yeah, I like this, man. This is a uh, this is pretty cool from Case here. Any of you guys own any of the one of these? Um, and does anyone know of any other case knives that are going down this road? Made in the USA and uh, pretty good materials like this. I'm interested to see what else is, if there's anything else like this out there from case. Um, recently found the Buck Sprint Pro, which I really liked, other than the pocket clip on that one, the way it bent up. And uh, yeah, I really like this one too. And for the money, what you're getting, it's not bad. It's really not bad for S35VN, aluminum frame lock made seems like it's made very well for 135 dollars it's not bad not bad at all so yeah pretty impressive actually as far as long-term use i can't tell you how it would hold up to long-term use i would assume it would be fine but you know these are fairly newer model this is a fairly newer model from case so there's not a you know a whole lot of them out there getting hard used or anything yet yeah, I would think it'd be fine. The, the action is just so buttery smooth. Yeah, just so good. All right, guys, that's going to do it. If you guys have any questions about this knife or you own one of these knives, let me know what you think about it. And like I said, if you know of another knife made in USA by Case that's using more premium materials like this, comment below and let me know what it is. I, I'm a, I want to check something else out from Case. So, yeah. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button for me. It really helps the channel to grow and get pushed out to newer viewers. Try and hit that 1K mark so we can do that big, giant giveaway we're going to be having. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.